Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Saturday. This is a very impromptu, not planned, quick Energize Live before I go press play. I don't even have the tiny mic out, y'all. We are just doing a quick Energize Live. My husband and my daughter went to go get our tree and I'm about to um, press play on leg day, but I have to make my Energize first and you already know how I feel about making my Energize by myself. So I thought, okay, we'll just connect super quick. I don't know how good the sound is. It doesn't really matter today. You know, we're just, we're just connecting. Um, no tiny mic. No, we're just, we're just going to make some Energize together really quick. And then I'm going to go press play on leg day, day 15. I just, I'm feeling like I need to synergize a lot today. Okay. Tell me how your Thanksgiving was. Tell me how you're feeling today. I almost did a reel yesterday and I just, quite frankly, I just couldn't get it to work before we had to leave. We went to the ship yesterday to see Jesse and, you know, being the day after Thanksgiving. And I do know that, you know, sometimes people have their holiday celebrations on the days that aren't the actual days, which is fine. Cause guess what? It's just a day. However, I think we get all worked up about, okay, oh my gosh, what am I going to eat on Thanksgiving? What am I going to do? What am I going to eat all the things and blah, 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 blah. And we forget that, you know, like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, unless you're doing your family stuff, you know, Friday, Saturday, Saturday whatever, and your family gatherings on Saturday, it's not Thanksgiving anymore, okay? It's not Thanksgiving anymore, which means um, there's no more, well, it's Thanksgiving, just let me eat the pie. That, no, y'all, not thanks. It's not Thanksgiving anymore. So that situation is now done, and we don't have that. You know, listen. I don't care what you eat. Eat what you want. Do what you want. I'm just saying what's gonna happen. Because I, because I've been there, done that. Is sometimes we forget that Thanksgiving is a day, and we have our day, and then we continue on like like the rest of the days are Thanksgiving, and they're not anymore. Okay, they're not. So. And quite frankly, if you wanted it, you could have pumpkin pie any freaking day of the week. Take yourself to, to a grocery store and uh, get yourself some pumpkin pie, right? So it, it's just get the leftovers make awesome compost. Do you know what I do with a lot of leftovers in our house? This probably isn't good, but I'm, I do it anyway because I don't like to just throw it away. I go throw it over the fence because we have these amazing birds. We have this amazing wildlife here in Florida. And so I'll just go throw it over the fence sometimes. And if you right now in the comments makes write some comments like, you know, that's really da 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 and at me for that, I'm going to block you from my life. I said it. Here's another thing you could do with leftovers. Um, sometimes, now this is really more for big cities. This is more for big cities. Um, my girls when they lived in New York, sometimes would take their le leftovers to the uh, unhoused people who were on the streets. They were unhoused. Um, so I, that's really more if you're in a, in a bigger city or... J Doris, I'm not giving them to the alligators. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have water right behind my house. I don't, but I have really amazing birds. And um, I actually like seeing them. So sometimes I just... Um, throw things like, you know, maybe salad that's a little old or, you know, some veggies, some things like that, you know, um, I'll give that. So my girls used to, what is happening out there? It's probably lady. Um, my girls used to take some their leftovers for certain things to, um, you know, the unhoused people in, in the city and give it to them. And which is, you know, if you don't do that, sometimes they don't have food. So we have to go let lady in because she's about to have a breakdown. Y'all, this dog, do you know what would solve this problem? Learn to use the doggy door. Your sisters have. I'm telling you, I, I did not work out yesterday. I took yesterday as my rest day because we went over to the ship to see Jessie, which was so fun. Um, we spent a lot. Quite, quite a bit of the day over there with her yesterday, so I did not get my workout in yesterday, and it's 9.20. We slept in this morning, which is also okay, and we slept in. Those two went to get the tree, so I haven't started my workout yet. I'm about to start my workout. I am cranky right now. Like, I need my workout right now, you know? Mm-hmm. Kelly, I know exactly what you're talking about. 
I know exactly what you're talking about because because my daughter lives there. So I know exactly what you're talking about. I apologize. I've not had a chance to look at some of the comments. Um, but I, I am cranky today because I have not gotten my um, my workouts um, yet. So, um, hold on, I'm just kind of looking through. Yeah, lots of great ideas. Lots of great ideas for for leftovers. Here's what is uh, also a great idea for leftovers is just to remember that that was Thanksgiving and this is now and you don't have to eat the pie just because it's in your house. Okay. You don't have to, you don't have to eat the pie just because it's in your house. And let's talk about this just for a second. This is the one thing that I kind of want to talk about yesterday, but I didn't get a chance to just because we were going over the ship, which by the way, did you all see my, look at my cup. Jesse got my cup for me. So great. The ship is so gorgeous. Um, uh, this is this is the other thing that I wanted to remind you of. What you ate or didn't eat on Thanksgiving is not a um, statement <laughs> on your moral character. Okay. What you ate or you what you didn't eat, it is it has nothing to do with who you are as a human being. It's not a statement on your moral character, and you're not a um, bad person. You don't have no willpower. You don't have like. None of that, that has anything to do. You ate some food, okay? So what I want you to do is assess how you feel on the other side of the decisions that you made. And if you feel awesome, if you feel awesome, then you probably made good decisions that helped you, help you um, fuel and function at your best. Awesome. But if you feel like you feel a little bit off, you don't, and, and you feel kind of sluggish or whatever today, that is all data. Okay. That's data. So like I noticed that on days like this, you know, family situations, family gatherings, things like that. I I'm a salt eater. Like I'm not a sweet eater. I don't care about the desserts at all. I'm a salt eater. So I notice that I definitely eat more sodium on days like this, you know, definitely more. We had this really amazing plant-based whole plant-based charcuterie board of plant-based cheeses and gluten-free crackers and you know, all those things like that. And so I'm definitely eating more sodium. Um, you're eating vegetables or things like that, that might be seasoned with a little bit more salt. I know that I am eating more sodium on that day. Okay. So I noticed that on the next day, that's data. I'm like, Oh, you're right. I'm probably eating more sodium. I notice that it affects how I feel. So what should I do? I should hydrate even more to help flush that out because that's data, data. Okay. So I think I shared this last week that I used to always teach on the Friday, I teach group exercise on the Friday after Thanksgiving. So Friday morning, I would teach a, a some kind of class at the YMCA on the Friday after Thanksgiving. What is going on with my hair? It's crazy. Um, and people would be like, Oh my God, I'm so sluggish. I'm so whatever. I'm working. I'm like, Right. Not because you ate, you know, 15,000 calories. You just ate stuff probably that you don't eat on the regular, right? Like you, like me, you might've eaten a little bit more sodium. Maybe you ate a little bit more sugar. Maybe you drank a little bit more alcohol. Maybe you ate at weird times. That's another thing. Maybe you ate at weird off times. I don't know about you. I'm super routine in when and how I eat. And then you have situations like this and you just get a little bit off right? You eat it weird. You travel, you sit and you travel and maybe your workout isn't the same and all. And that all affects how you feel. None of it affects how you are as a human being. All of it is data. It's data. So hold, I really need to synergize. So what's beautiful about that is data is such a beautiful thing. It's no different than data financially, like having a budget, and knowing where you are financially or in your relationships or in your fitness and your health, like anything, it's all just data. And if you take a moment and go, Oh, okay. So these are some of the factors that probably have equal to me feeling X, Y, Z. Then you go, okay, that's great to know. Does not mean I'm a bad person? Doesn't mean you can't do it again. Doesn't mean you can't eat, do what feel, whatever you want. It's just data knowing that. So that's what I used to tell my classes on Friday. I'm like, this is just data knowing that when you eat certain foods or certain ways, this is how it makes you feel. What's beautiful about that to me, I think it's an opportunity when people really just take a moment and connect in. It's such a beautiful opportunity for people to actually 
make that connection and maybe they never made it before because maybe no one's asked them to really dig into that data or consider how they feel to make the connection between what you actually put in your body and how you feel like for some reason there is a strange disconnect people forget we forget that what we actually put into our bodies affects how we function and how we feel so if we put something into our bodies that affected how we function and how we felt in a positive way, that's data. That's awesome. If we put something into our bodies that affected how we felt and functioned in a way that didn't make us feel so good, that's data. So it's all data to help us make decisions that then align with how we want to feel and function, period. Notice I didn't say how we want to look. I said how we want to feel and function. And I have conversations like this sometimes with my, my clients and they're like, you know, I'm, maybe they're off, they've got a little sideways on their journey and whatever. And I said, listen, the bottom line is you're simply not making choices that align with how you want to feel and function. Let's stop making it some sort of, sort of weird moral judgment or like you don't have any self-discipline or you don't have any willpower. Da, da, da. No, this is all choices. These are choices I made. This is how I want to feel and function. Let me figure out how to align my choices with how I want to feel and function. I want to, you know, so I want to feel not so sluggish. I want to feel like I have a little bit more energy. Noting that I probably ate more sodium the past couple days, that means I need to make a choice to hydrate more. That's all. It's data. It's just data. So when you get around people who are having these kinds of conversations, you start to understand that a little bit deeper. That's what happened for me. These are, this is part of the reason why I'm so much more able to thrive during the holidays rather than just survive because I so deliberately put myself in conversations and groups and communities and people through my business, through my, really through my business, through my business, because it's all personal development and health and wellness and nutrition. And getting in these conversations and realizing, oh, this isn't, this doesn't mean I'm a bad person. It just means this is just data. And this is a connecting point between what I put in my body, how I treated my body and then how I felt. So like on Monday morning, when you get up and you go about your business, maybe you're going back to work, how you feel on Monday morning generally is because of what you ate, drank, how you slept, how you moved your body the past like 72 or so hours. So when you think about how you feel on Monday morning, what'd you do on Saturday and Sunday? Like, did you, did you get some movement in? Were you around inspiring community? Did you hydrate really well? Did you fuel your body really well? And you probably feel really awesome on Monday. If you feel really crappy on Monday, then maybe you were off on some of those pieces. Data. Now you make better choices and no, it's not, oh, it's just so hard. No, it's not hard. It's not hard. You just have to tap into how do you want to feel? If you want to feel energetic and vibrant and alive and move your body and not sluggish and da da da, then you're going to make choices in line with that. If you really don't, then you won't. And it, it, let's not make it any more dramatic or hard or complicated than it is. So, really, that's what I wanted to say today. I just really wanted to get that off my chest. Like, it's all data. It's just data. So, I hope you had an awesome Thanksgiving. I hope you have some fun stuff planned today. Anyone else putting up their tree this weekend? Don't tell me if you've already have it put up. That's okay. I just want to know who is with me and putting their tree up this weekend. Also, listen, there is something happening upstairs. There is a dog who's either got themselves in a room or they want to get themselves in a room. What's happening up here? You need to come downstairs right now. Anyone putting up, oh, we got some people putting up trees this weekend? Yes. What are you doing? What are you doing? Is that something you're supposed to be doing? I don't think so. If you chewed up something of Josie's, she's going to be really mad at you. That is her wallet. What are we doing? Get out. You all know who that was, right? Look at her standing there. Hmm. Go. Go. Patty. I'm laughing at your comment. When you're an only child, it's a whole weekend event. Listen, number one, 
you may or may not be doing your daughter any service. I was the youngest by 17 years. I was like an only child. I'm just telling you from experience, you may or may not be doing your daughter any service by making it a whole weekend. And also, you don't have to be an only child to make your daughter's or son's or whoever's birthday uh, a whole weekend. You don't have to be an only child. Just They can do whatever they want. You can do whatever you want. Your family. You want to make your child's birthday the entire weekend. Make it no matter how many children you have. Okay? So that also means if you want to put up your Christmas tree, you can do that too. Um, okay, so some people are putting up Christmas trees. It looks like a lot of people, some people putting up tomorrow, adding the ornaments this weekend. Some people are up every year, the day after Thanksgiving. We would have done that too. That's normally what we do as well, but we went to the ship yesterday to see Jesse. So that's why it's today. Uh, Sawyer is being bad. They're ridiculous. Okay, I'm going to go press play. Look at her now. Listen. Y'all, I cannot, I cannot with this dog. Look at this. Uh, I'm going to go press play, get my leg day in, and then um, later on stories, I'll show you the tree. We're not sure. We're thinking about right here. <laughs> We're thinking about right here. Thinking about right here. Not really sure which, which place we're going to put it. So, um... I'll show you that later on stories. Here or here. If we do it here, you're going to have to get yourself up, dog. Thank you. If we do it over here, we have to move the table out a little bit. So we'll see. Okay. I need this workout a lot so that I can get myself back on track, feel better, feel less cranky. You like it by the window, but which window? Which window? Window A. I, I kind of like it there. Window B. This doesn't work for me as much because there's too much that has to move to make it work. This is really where I want it. We have a very tall ceiling. We can get a big old honking tree, which I like a lot. So that's what I'm thinking. Okay, we got to go to get this workout in, y'all. I hope you go get your workout. Look at this hair. It's a mess. We're a mess today. We're just a mess. We need this energize. We need this workout. We we need to just, you know, drink a lot of water today. And you do the same. You really, really assess, you know, how you feel, all your choices, how do you want to feel, align your habits accordingly. And remember, it's all data. And it's always data across the board. I am a mess this morning. It's always data across the board. It's data in your health and wellness journey. Your choices and your habits align with, you, with the outcome that you want. It's data in your business. If you have a business, are your habits aligning with the goals that you have for your business? It's data in your relationships. It's data in your finances. Everything is always data. And does that data reflect the habits and choices that align with your goals? Always. Everything is data, everything's a choice, everything's a habit, and then making those choices and aligning those habits with the goals that you want. Whether it's how you feel, whether it's how much money you have financially, whether it's the business that you wanna have, the relationship you wanna have, doesn't matter, it's all data. Okay, we're gonna go get ourselves together. We're gonna to get this workout done and um, take a shower and we're gonna get ourselves together and then I will be back to show you where we end up putting our Christmas tree. I hope you have an awesome Saturday. Go put up your trees if you celebrate that way. Do um, other decorations, whatever else you might celebrate, whether it's Kwanzaa or anything else that you might celebrate. Please let us know all the things because um, celebrations are celebrations. Loves, loves, love. Holidays are holidays. So have an awesome Saturday.